Hello, and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Finland. Uh, so here we are, still waiting on uh, a decision on an idea group, and we don't have to pick that yet. Um, what we are going to do, we are going to actually go ahead with the attack Novgorod plan, but what we want to do, we want to get Muscovy's opinion up. So we are going to start improving relations, and right now we have rivaled Lithuania, but no one that we want to get their, the attention of has rivaled Lithuania. So we're going to change this around. Um, let's see, Muscovy rivals the Golden Horde, Kazan, and Novgorod. Well, we're going to see if the moment we declare independence, if we can rival Novgorod. If we can, then that's what we'll do, and that will be great. Um, so, let's see, we have our, our guy here. We are sitting at full maintenance. I think it is time to say yes. Oh, also, we're sitting on some money. Let's build one more bark. Yes. All right, free diplomat. And here we go. Let's see. Uh, Novgorod, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, w wait, wait. Before we do that, we are going to spend up one because we're going to lose three stability. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be not so great. Uh, anyway, back to Novgorod. Declare war. This automatically will call in Livonian order and Tver. Now Muscovy can't because they still have a truce with um, with Novgorod, but that's okay because literally these three guys here are the entire army of Novgorod. So here we go. Declare independence. Great. Now the question is, can we um, put? Let's see. We'll take. Lithuania off. Can we put... No, we can! Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent. Okay. Uh, let's take the speed down a bit. Uh, they're sitting at negative 42. So we're actually going to wait. Um, oh, Scotland is on their alliance with Novgorod. Oh! I just didn't realize that. Okay, so we're at war with Scotland too. Um, I'm just going to choose to not really worry about that so much. Uh, yeah, we're we're doing just fine in terms of these uh, our armies here, just fine. Um, in fact, so here's the three from Tver coming. Livonian order has four here. That'll be great. Uh, we're just gonna wait for them to join up with this army. Uh, yes, I know we're at war. Yes, yes, I'm sure my ports are blockaded. Um, we're gonna wait for them to join us, and then we'll go and attack this Novgorodian army here. In fact, I wonder if the Livonian order is just going to go straight there. Uh, perhaps. it. Yes, in fact, they are. Uh, in that case, let's just make sure they are, in fact, going. Uh, well, no. We'll wait till that guy comes, joins up, and let's go. So we should win this battle pretty easily. Oh, yes. Majorly easily. Great. Um, and now what we want... Because this, so this territory, it was occupied by rebels in 1451, December 8th. So meaning December 8th in 1453, no, 1454, wait, am I saying this right? Yes. Uh, meaning that is the date on which um, it will just automatically flip. So we're actually not going to worry so much about sieging it up. We want to go siege up Kola because we'd like to take that in the war. Uh, yeah, we're also going to take this guy over here, and we're going to improve relations with Sweden, because Sweden has a claim on Kexholm, and that's just not something we really want to fall into. Uh, where are you going? You're going to Novgorod. Uh, will we beat you? Yes, we will. Great. Let's do it. And boom. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, we're actually going to split you in half. We'll take the half with more things that way, and you that way. That looks good to me. Uh, yeah, there will be some other general here, I'm sure, because uh, we'll siege up Kola and their capital, and that should, that should certainly give us enough war score. Oh, look! Scotland actually dropped some guys off here. Interesting. Um... Oh, we... another battle? Okay. Sure, whatever. 
yeah, we're sieging up Novgorod. Uh, what kind of fort does it have? Oh, it just has a level one fort, so we're fine because this is actually two regiments. Once they, uh, once another month ticks over. Uh, okay, here we go. So we are uh, yet again going to keep. He right now is six five four. Uh, we're gonna do this and lose even more Republican tradition, which is wonderful. Oh, uh, no, we don't have enough to boost our stability again. What's this? Uh, create a proper fleet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, actually, yes. Let's go ahead and while we're thinking about it, do another one because we should be getting pretty close to that goal. Uh, yeah. Just keeping an eye out on everything else going on. We can probably take the speed up, actually. Even though I don't, I don't normally like to do that during war, but I think we're just fine. Um, okay, good. Muscovy would accept a royal marriage, and obviously we can't because we are a, um, a what you call it. And let's see. Oh, the good, and they would accept an alliance because as soon as we peace out, peace them out, uh, we're gonna want to get that alliance. Um, Novgorod entered a military alliance with Riazan. Sure. Uh, let's see. Gain army tradition for ducats or lose prestige. We'll gain some army tradition. Uh, tradition. That sounds good to me. And in two months, we can boost stability again, which will be necessary. Now, why is this only showing as one? Wait, no. I want to see the army. Ah, yeah. It's an, if for some reason, it's not really... I mean, I guess maybe they're getting some attrition. Huh. And where are you going? Okay, recall diplomat, sure. Uh, we're not going to worry about that so much. Uh, okay, now the question is, what do we do with this free diplomat? Let's go... Yeah, how... Mm, oh, no, we're at, we're at max, basically, there. Um, who else is good to be thinking about and working on? What do you, how do you feel? Oh, you love us. Um, let's do Pomerania actually, since they seem to be kind of coming into this area. Uh, whoa. Okay, Livonian. Really, they didn't take any territory. Uh, Teutonic Order will annul treaties with the Livonian Order. Teutonic Order will pay 30 ducats. And that's, that's it? Okay. Uh, that seems a little, oh, oh, whoa, stability, stability. Yes, important, important, and boost. Yes, um, all right, actually, you guys, why don't we, yeah, let's patrol Novgorod, so we're not making much money, and we can make more. Uh, good, things are falling, we should have both Novgorod and Kola soon, and I bet once we do that, uh, they will be willing to peace out, let's go kill their army. This is good. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Ha uh ha ha. Yes, oh, we're winning really easily. That's good. Let's go work on more things. Yes, Cola is falling. Now, when is it? When did I say? Let's see, it's three years. So I need to get to de next December. Uh, so we're actually we're in no we're in no rush because I would love it for this to go ahead and just uh, to happen before um, before we even end the war because it'll just flip and then there's no aggressive expansion for us taking it no other sorts of negative penalties it's all good so no rush on that at all um, okay what's this we just lose 50 diplomatic power you know why not just cause. Uh, perhaps we should even go kill that Scottish army, but mm, that's maybe that's maybe a tiny bit ambitious. Uh, do we want to do a building? Maybe a. Let's see, what do you cost? You cost diplo power. Sure, actually. Or a no. Let's do a dock. Yeah, we'll do a dock. That looks good. Good. Yes, that's the way that is pronounced. Uh... Tuscany declared war in the Papal State. Okay, what sort of war is this? Is re that really it? Uh, 
Okay, Switzerland is involved. Uh, did I say five or four? Oh, for this province. Uh, four should do it. So, okay, so December 8th of this year should do it. So actually, it might even fall before Cola does. Who knows? 18% in the war. That's excellent. Oh, so good. So, 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 so good. Uh, Siege of Olenets. Sure, let's go kill that army now. Uh, or we'll head up there to do it. Right, yeah, because it's a 10 army. Okay, good. Siege of Cola finished. You go join up with them. Portugal declared war on Granada. Really? Okay. Well, that's not normally how that goes. Uh, good. We did that battle. Huh? We're going to wait for December 8th to... Ah! Oh, look at that! They brought guys in on a boat. Well, that's too bad. France declared war on Burgundy. Now, that could be kind of big. Because uh, we are still in the time zone where the Burgundian inheritance issue could happen. And who are they? Who are they married with? They are married to Brittany, Cleves, and Aragon. Is Austria still the emperor? Austria is the emperor. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, this, there some funny things there could happen. Uh, let's go here. All right, we're almost to December. Oh, we've got a guy here. You also... Novgorod. Yeah, we actually make money when we do this. It's amazing. All right, October. What is it? December 8th? December 8th. We'll see if that actually works. I think that's how it works. Uh, December. Hey, there we go. Hey, look at that. And it will cost us... Um, actually, if we can get our war exhaustion down, then that will do it. So we're going to bring both of our diplomats home and try to just do this all in one foul swoop um, and by that I mean uh, gain independence and then whoa 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 and then get our alliance with Muscovy uh, let's see will Muscovy still ally us no because we're at war so that's okay um, so Novgorod actually do we have any war score against Scotland we probably don't. In fact, we have negative war score against Scotland. So that's fine. Um, all right. We want Cola, and we want Grant Independence. They will do that. Um, you wouldn't give us trade power, but will you give us money? You'll give us 16 ducats. I accept that. Send demand. Great. Now, over here, Alliance. Great. Oh, yes. That's what we want, because now uh, we have an, a real ally with some actual strength against uh, potential aggressors, which is what we need. Uh, so now, come over here and core this for only 38. That's not bad at all. And this is 19. Also not bad at all. Um, yeah, excellent, guys. So we are now, we've gone from a three-province miner to a five-province miner. Uh, adding a total of three base tax. So that's really, really great. Um, we lost a Costas Belly against Novgorod. It's not a problem. Oh, diplomats, diplomats, diplomats. Um, let's go back to improving relations with Sweden. Uh, yeah. And we just, we need to lose more Republican tradition. <laughs> that's, that's what we need. Um, and I need Denmark as an ally. I really, really need Denmark as an ally. That's yeah. That's that's the only way to only way to really get this done. Aren't right, you coming home? Yeah, you're coming home. Um. Oh, let's also talk about buildings. Let's see. We we made one. We made a dock. So let's build a marketplace. This is good. Good things happening. Uh, oh, should we maybe think about our idea group now? Yes, we should, especially if we want a Diplo idea. Um, 
the more diplomatic relations is really pretty great. Uh, and there's the timer. So let's make this choice. Yeah, we're going to do this and get an extra diplomat because that sounds great. Diplomatic ideas. Diplomat. Great. We now have three diplomats. Uh, what do we want to do with this one? Let's take him over to Poland and improve relations. Uh, all the all the big players in the area. Um, all right, guys. Well, we are now independent, and we have like we have Muscovy as an ally, which is actually pretty great. Uh, we also have Tver, which I think we probably want to break this alliance. Actually, yeah, we want to break it. Because they're gonna get declared war on by Muscovy, uh, and we're just not gonna we're not gonna defend them. Uh, we are also allied with the Livonian Order, who's allied with Sweden, which is actually okay for now because that's a reason for Sweden not to attack us because their own allies would not come to their defense. All right, guys, see you in the next episode.